हेलो मैं सर डॉक्टर दिनेशन पाटिल वेलकम टू माय चैनल डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक्स फॉर बिगिनर्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल सी द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द ओएस फॉरेंसिक टूल इन आर्डर टू परफॉर्म द डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन द पर्टिकुलर ओएस फॉरेंसिक टूल इट्स विंडोज बेस्ड फॉरेंसिक टूल बट इट कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज इन आर्डर टू परफॉर्म द डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन of the hard disk of the linux based computer system also the mac based computer system so we'll see in this particular uh, particular video uh, the what are the various features and of the os forensic tools and how to make use of those particular tool uh, that means those features of the os forensic tool in order to do the digital forensic investigation of the windows based computer system when we uh, open the os forensic tool we will get uh, this kind of a view of the os forensic tool where on the left hand side uh, of the particular the view of this particular os forensic tool you can see the various menus uh, which are available that means those are the features which are being provided by the os forensic tool in order to do the digital forensic investigation of the windows based computer system and uh, the the various digital devices which are uh, available with the windows based computer system and uh, the we'll begin with the first uh, the feature that is about auto trace so a particular digital forensic investigator when he wants to uh, perform the digital forensic investigation whenever he wants to do it at a faster rate so it can this auto trace can be helpful for the digital forensic investigator so uh, the digital forensic investigator can extract uh, the various information about the system uh, from the, by doing the auto trials he can extract the process list uh, that is uh, what are the process which are running on the system so it can be extracted uh, by doing the auto trials uh, also apart from that uh, whatever the activity that have been performed by the user on the system so such uh, kind of digital evidences can also be extracted uh, by using the auto trace there are many other uh, uh, the information which can be extracted by using the auto trace and uh, another is uh, is about the managing the case a digital forensic investigator whenever he is working on some uh, of the the criminal case uh, he has to create some uh, kind of a case and where he is going to maintain other uh, various evidences of the whatever the evidences he has gathered so we can see that we can create a case as per our convenience uh, that is provided here we can give the case name the kind of investigator the name of the investigator organization and other details uh, we can specify here and uh, whatever the activity that means the evidence uh, that will be gathered uh, by the digital forensic investigator will be part of that particular case and what are the criminal activity and related evidence that also be associated with the manage uh, the particular case so uh, here already uh, that means we can create a case and whenever we create a case you can see the what the title you have given uh, the date of the creation of the case access date and the location where that particular case is stored so we can open that particular if it already some work have been done on some criminal case by the digital forensic investigator so that case can be open that means whatever the evidence is the kind of crime crime and relevant evidence that have been identified by the digital forensic investigator so that can be located from the uh, from a particular case if it is properly maintained by the investigator we can create another uh, the forensic image so so if you click on this we can create the disk image we can uh, restore the the particular image to the disk Uh, so if you see this uh, creating a, a disk image so whatever the hard disk we are having so we can create the image of this particular disk so here the let's say we are having the particular partition so entire this particular partition uh, is image can be created so we can sp uh, specify the name of the particular file and where that particular image is going to be saved so that what we can do with this particular uh, forensic image that means if the in order to maintain uh, the, the integrity integrity of the particular uh, digital uh, devices so uh, the forensic investigator is required to create a image so that can also be possible with the os forensic tool 
same way we can do the, the logical android image so what the android uh, what the operating system we are having so on that uh, we can create uh, whatever the the memory we are having the secondary storage so of that particular android secondary storage also we can create a, a image of that using this we can add some device okay so uh, uh, to the particular case also because so i have not created any case so it's showing that uh, the we have to create some case so that we can add some device uh, that is hardware uh, some digital device which we want to, to be part of that case we can add to that particular case and another feature is about uh, we can create a virtual machine uh, by using this os forensic tool also apart from that we can do the booting of the particular system by using the virtual machine as well uh, booting existing virtual machine that also we can do with this uh, particular uh, os forensic tool and another feature is about the file system you can browse the entire file system uh, by using the waste forensic tool uh, so what are the drives we have created under that drive what are the directories are there so that we can visualize by using the the particular file system browser uh, another in uh, features of the OS forensic tool is that it can give the detail about the system information so here uh, you can see that uh, uh, when we we can get the details about the c drive d drive or the system drives and the device scale in case so just we have to select a particular option and then we have to click on the scan so it is going to scan the the particular system drives in order to give the, the details about the systems so what kind of details we can get about the name of the computers time zone information network information user information and other information so the set down time of the system so that details we can get memory viewer uh, this particular feature it gives the details about the running processes whatever the, the volatile memory that we are having so we can perform the the live analysis of the main memory as well as the statistic statistic static analysis of the main memory so you can see that what are the process which are running uh, in the particular main memory of this particular computer system so how much time uh, that have been allocated that uh, for the cpu uh, total cpu time that have been given uh, we, uh, that have been used of those particular by those process so that have been specified here and the other time the kernel time process create time so that is uh, we can uh, that information we can get from the live analysis or uh, another thing we can do is that we can dump the physical memory so just if you click on this uh, so the the volatile memory of this particular computer system will be dumped and it is going to have the extension dot mem so that we can save there uh, if you are having some physical memory term already uh, so we can open that particular image by using this memory viewer uh, so we can extract and view the string uh, whatever uh, the particular memory is having volatile memory uh, for uh, in, in that volatile memory we can have the the hexadecimal representation of the information apart from that we can have the text string uh, so that we can view by using the memory viewer so whatever the information that is available in the volatile memory it can be uh, the represented by the hexadecimal and the associated the text string that is uh, also we can see by in the memory viewer and uh, the what are the user activity that have been performed by the user on the system so that also we can see by using the uh, this particular os forensic tool another feature of the os forensic tool is the password so the user account password on the windows based computer system can be extracted by using this particular feature also the password which have been stored on the the web browser uh, in the web browser so that also can be extracted by using this particular feature uh, we can identify the the files name uh, by using this particular uh, feature or os forensic tool also uh, what are the files that have been created so directly we can identify extract uh, by using the in the particular drive 
so that directly can be uh, search for this one so if the files have been deleted so those files also can be found out by using this uh, the particular OS file. Uh, another feature of this uh, OS forensic tool is that a mismatch file search. So uh, by using the OS forensic tool, we can identify the files whose raw bits are not consistent with their file extension. And then we can identify the various uh, the fi program files, uh, the executable program which have been installed onto your computer system. Uh, by clicking on the, on the option that is a program artifacts thumb cache viewer so by using this one what are the thumb cache image that have been stored onto your computer hard disk so those we can get by using the thumb cache viewer and uh, the registry viewer so this particular uh, uh, menu or the feature of the OS forensic tool it provides the, the uh, that means it's for the view of the windows registry so actually windows registry is made up of number of registry have and registry itself is a hierarchical configuration database so that we can view by using the registry view we were a kind of a feature which have been provided with the os forensic tool uh, this is uh, going to be the various types like default sam security software system and user dat user class dat so these are the various hives so by clicking on those particular hives we can see uh, whatever is the <coughs> registry key and their values in those particular registry hive so that we can see by in the, the particular registry viewer then another uh, thing that we can do with the west policy tool is that we can see the various uh, that means the the contents on the hard disk itself so directly by using by clicking on the raw disk viewer the particular feature which have been provided as part of the OS forensic tool we can see the each and every details of the each and every sectors on our on the hard disk which is going to be uh, analyzed by using this particular OS forensic tool uh, then we can view the emails files which are installed onto the the computer hard disk so the email files can be of various types and we can read out those particular email files by, by using the os forensic tool uh, we can create the index for various files which are there on our hard disk uh, so that can be created by using the the os forensic tool and we can search uh, a particular file by using the the particular uh, OS forensic tool itself. So the search can be done based on the indexing that have been performed by using the OS forensic tool. So these are the various features uh, of the OS forensic tool. So that means uh, by using this particular OS forensic tool, we can perform the various things. The main uh, things that we can perform by using the OS forensic tool is that uh, if we are having the dump of the volatile memory, so that dump uh, we can analyze uh, by using the memory viewer so the dump can be of uh, having the extension draw so or uh, that is uh, so that can be analyzed we can uh, by using this particular os forensic tool and uh, the directly we can see the view of the particular hard disk whatever is the content each and on every sector of the hard disk uh, so that we can view by using the OS forensic tool apart from that the activity that have been performed by the user on the system so that also can be uh, we can identify by using this one and related evidence to that particular activity also can be extracted from this OS forensic tool so this is about the OS forensic tool uh, so which is of very much helpful to the digital forensic investigator in extracting the digital evidences of the various activity or various uh, the evidences related to the uh, various particular activity that have been performed by the user on the system uh, thanks for watching this particular video if you like this particular video uh, please click on the subscribe button to watch the uh, to get the notification for the future videos on the the digital forensics domain thank you